Good morning. Today we look at Genesis 31, verse 38. And we're going to talk about something that is weird for the character of Jacob. And Jacob would be the last person you would think to talk about a work ethic. And we look at Genesis 31, 38. It says, 20 years have I been with thee, talking to Laban, his father-in-law. And if there's ever an employer that you don't want, you don't want a Laban. If there is a bad example of a bad laborer and employer found in the Bible, it's Laban. And Jacob says, these 20 years have I been with thee. 20 years. Jacob said, I'll serve seven years for Rachel. And you end up working 14 years for Rachel. I've been 20 years have I been with thee, thy ewes, female sheep, thy sheep goats, have not cast their young. Now, Jacob is a shepherd. Jacob is a cowboy. Jacob is in charge of Laban's livestock. Jacob don't have no livestock of himself. He's put in charge of Laban. He has two wives, four wives. He says, I'm in charge of your sheep and your goats. And the goats have not cast your young, given birth. And the rams of thy flock have I not eaten. Now, Jacob has been in charge of, of Laban's livestock. He says, listen, I can give full accountability. And I can give accountability of... Written the word down here. Every single female sheep and every baby, whatever you call the little the little animals. I'm not a farmer. For every female sheep, Jacob says, I can give an account. Every baby born of your livestock, I can give an account. And I did not eat of the rams. I didn't kill of any of your animals to have meat. Now, we may have killed a ramp for you to eat, Laban. But of the meat of your livestock. Now, think about it like this. Let's say Laban owned a candy store. Make it nice and simple. And Jacob worked in the candy store. Laban would come in and grab a candy bar. Laban's sons would come in and grab a candy bar. Maybe some of Laban's friends would come in and grab a candy bar and not pay for it. Jacob never took a jelly bean. Jacob never took a licorice stick. Jacob never took a candy bar. Not even one M&M, one Skittle. Whatever was in the candy store of Laban, when accountability came, everything was there. It was accountable. Jacob. Yes, Laban. I had 32 candy bars. Why are there 30? Well, your mom came in and grabbed two of the candy bars. Okay. Okay. Where's the chocolate covered pretzels? Well, Joe Smith down, down, down the uh, street bought them last week. Okay. Jacob had full accountability 
of the stock of livestock from Laban and can give full account Jacob was a, was a was a cowboy was a shepherd and he was an accountant of Laban's goods in verse 39 that which was torn a beast I brought uh, brought not unto thee I bear the loss of it so Jacob, as a as a shepherd, as a as a cowboy, and what would happen if one of the wolves, the, 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 the lions or or bears, in those times, would come and grab a sheep, a lamb, a goat from the flock, and kill it, and it happened. Even David himself said, listen, I, I, I grabbed the, the, the parts of a lamb from a lion and a bear. And when there was a loss, and we'll go back to Laban's candy store, and some children had come into Laban's candy store and they shoplifted, they stole, I don't know, I don't think about it. Uh, they stole some jelly beans. All right. And in the accountability of Jacob, I am missing three bags of jelly beans. Oh. Okay. I earned three bags of jelly beans. Take my bag of jelly beans and put them on the shelf. And coming back to the livestock, Jacob would earn animals as he's working along with, uh, with Laban. And there was an animal dead on the field. Let's say a, a goat. It was caught <coughs> by a lion. Jacob would not bring that dead animal to Laban. Excuse me, my throat. Jacob would grab one of his goats and replace the goat that was eaten, stolen, of Laban's with his goat. And Laban would come along and say, okay, 100 goats as a sacrament of God. But J Jacob, lo Jacob lost a goat, 99. But Laban still had a hundred, though one was stolen by a lion. And a hundred would be that one that belonged to Jacob. He would put it in the thing. And Laban had no idea that a goat was taken by the lions because when he counted his goats, there were a hundred. Though Jacob had 99 of Laban's, he, Jacob took one of his goats and gave it to Laban and never recorded it as a loss. And he says, of my hand, thou did require it. Laban set forth a standard of his employee, Jacob. That if any stock is stolen, lost, or destroyed, it is your fault. Now let's put it like this, because I grew up in I grew up in grocery store business. I worked the back rooms, I worked the freezers, I worked the aisles. And ShopRite, Price Right, uh, all Bradleys and and yeah, Win Dixie, and I just can't name all the stores I worked in. And let's take it like this. Let's let's give. I'm trying to make a simple illustration. Let's say I'm working in a store, and when I used to work in the stores, you used to be able to smoke in the stores. And there used to be smoking rooms. So let's say back in the smoking room, back way back when, somebody left their cigarette and the fire started. And let's say the fire started and it burnt a case of big pens. You know, the pens you write with. 
The employer would say to the employees, and let's say honest employees, the employer would come to me at the store and say, hey, a case of big pens caught on fire in the smoking room. Yes, I, I heard about it. the fire department came and all that. You're responsible for those pens. Well, okay. And somehow I would get a case of pens and put it back in stock, and my employer would be satisfied. Laban set forth a standard to Jacob. If anything happens to my livestock, Jacob, it is your fault. And Jacob goes on to verse 39 and say, whether it's stolen by day or stolen by... Whenever it was stolen, whenever it was lost, when Yogi got tired of a picnic basket and decided, I'm going to have a lamb meal, when the Arabians or the Ishmaelites would come and, and steal, Jacob it is your account accountability. You are working in a grocery store for an employer, and whether fire, destruction, theft, knocked off the shelf, whatever happens to the product, you, the employee, you, Jacob, it's your fault. And at the end of the week, at the end of the day, at the end of the month, at the end of the year, if there's a hundred items, there better be a hundred items or there better be money for items that was sold. In other words, you, you got a hundred candy bars. And when the accountability comes up, you got 85. You better have the money for the 15 candy bars that were sold. That's, that's what it comes down to. In chapter 31, verse 40, Thus I was, Jacob, in the day of the drought consumed me. I don't care Leah was giving you a hard time that day. I don't care Leah what made your day miserable and you woke up because Leah ruined your breakfast and your camel had a had a broken leg I don't care Laban did not want excuses and Jacob did not give excuses and the frost by night Jacob gets a fever. He's sick. He's still at work. He didn't call out sick. He didn't say, well, you know, Rachel wanted to go to the Nile, so I can't go to work. He did not say, you know, oh, it's just, I hate this job. It is just so terrible. It's so cold. I can't work. He didn't say that. He was there at work. By day and by night, whether it was hot or whether it was cold. Climate control. Jacob did not have heat in his camel, and he didn't have air conditioning in the factory. He was there, and he worked. And my sleep departed from my eyes. Jacob, though he was tired all night, walking the floor, helping with, with, with little Judah, who kept him and his wife up all night. He didn't get no sleep because his neighbors were playing their music too loud. He's tired and he's at work doing his job. This is Jacob we're talking about. 
This is Jacob, the guy who said, uh, uh, brother, yeah, I'm hungry. I'm starving to death. Well, sell me your birthright. This is the same man. Uh, are you Esau, my son? Yes, I am. Say bad what you will about Jacob. Jacob's got a work effort that's better than it will knock out most Christians today. I'm sorry to say, I have in the past, I have called out a work and I wasn't sick. I have gone to work and not done my job fully. And you realize Jacob, oh, Jacob's complained. No, he's not. Now he is angry. And he tells us, he, he tells us in chapter three, I'm angry. But he's telling us the truth. Let's move on. He says, verse 41. Thus I have been 20 years in thy house. Should have been 7, 10 years, but, you know, he was swindled by. I mean, he wakes up one morning, finds out it's Leah. What? That was slick. <laughs> Leah kept her mouth shut all night. I have served thee 14 years for thy two daughters. He was supposed to serve seven years for one daughter, Rachel. He was swindled by his father-in-law. He was swindled by his employer which is his father-in-law. Six years for thy cattle. So he did earn a living. Laban said seven years for Rachel. He ended up with Leah. Seven more years for Rachel. Fourteen years. And if you work six years, I will give you cattle. So Laban is an employer Jacob is a higher employee. And he goes to say, Thou hast changed my wages ten times. And I don't think for the good. I don't think Jacob got bonuses. And the, the statement would be is he got less. On Friday, he'd he go home, and he meet with Leah, and he open up the envelope. He said, Jacob, what would you get for a paycheck? Uh, I was supposed to get 200 and I got 100 What would you do, call out sick? No, I, 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 I got underpaid. And there was no labor department. There's no lawyers to call to say, hey! I've been short. And he'd been short of his pay. Verse 41 and 38, 39, 40, 41. Let me show you some words I've, I've got. Verse 38, 39, 40, 41. Though he'd been stiffed by his employer, we have responsibility. Jacob. We have liberty, Jacob. We have character, Jacob. We have faithfulness, Jacob. We have de dependability, Jacob. We have reliability, Jacob. We have trustworthiness, Jacob. We have accountability, Jacob. And as a Christian, I have myself, I, I am just as much to blame. And with other Christians, uh, uh, oh, my terrible job, and I don't get paid enough, and they want me to do this. You know, they asked me to work overtime the other day, and things are just so horrible. You know, I worked the other day, and there was no heat in the office. And the computers didn't work. 
and Joe didn't show up. And Mary fraternizes with the men. And the spring water cooler, it was empty. And when they did bring water for the water cooler, there was a fish in it. And, 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 you know, and, and traffic was heavy and... And Dave, who I worked with, had beans all last night. And I mean, it was just horrible. How horrible could it have been working with animals? Stinky, smelly animals. Now he'd get all the sheep together. One stupid sheep would go run off. He gotta go find it. And then he and then and, and, and he counts the livestock and, and there, there's a couple missing and he finds the dead carcasses. And when he finds the dead carcasses, he's got to take from his own stock. Let's go back to the candy store. Let's say Rachel likes cam caramel. And he said, you know what? This week I worked hard. I got some caramel. And I'm going to bring Rachel some caramels. She loves it. I love her. And some moron comes in the store and steals caramels. And the caramels that you saved up for Rachel, you got to put back on the shelf because some, some idiot stole them. And you're going home mad because, you know, you, you, you really, I mean, you, you, you love Rachel. You wanted to make her happy. But guess what? You have no more caramels because somebody stole them. And then you open up your paycheck in front of Rachel that week and you lost $50. And that stupid goat took four hours to give birth. And I got I had to stick my hand and had to help the birth. And after all that, Laban wanted me to, to clean out his barn of all the cow poop. And he wanted the cow poop over there because he he want he wants to build a, a garden with the cow poop. And then, I, and then he had to go feed the camels, and the camels drink a lot of water. And look what he says in verse 42. Except the God of my father. You know what, Jacob, 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 you know he holds it, my God. You know what Jacob did 38, 39, 40, 41? Not because of Laban, not because of Rachel, not because of Leah. He did it because of God. Everything give thanks to the Lord. Whatever you do, do heartily unto the Lord. Isn't that the New Testament scriptures? This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Isn't that scripture? That may not have been scripture for Jacob, what I quoted, but it's scripture for the Christian. I've heard many lessons against Jacob. He says, except the God of my father, the God of Abraham, he acknowledges the God of his great-grandfather. The fear of Isaac, his dad, had been with me. Surely thou hast sent me away empty. <laughs> you, know, he's, he's, you know, he tells Laban, his employer, if it wasn't for God, I would have came home to Leah, opened up my check. There would have been, I would know, you know what? There would have been no check. There would have been no Leah. There would have been no Rachel. There would have been nothing. You would have taken it all. You know what that's a picture of? An employer wants to take it all. That's your miracle. That's your American capitalist system. If your employer in America could get away having you work for nothing and take it all, if it was a way in America that your uh, uh, landlord could take it all away from you, they would in a capitalistic system. 
Do you realize without the Constitution of America, what this country would want to do to the Christian? And Jacob says, all to God. The God of my father, Isaac. The God of my grandpa, Abraham. My God. The God that I met at Bethel. That I anointed that rock. And I'm going to tell you something, my employer, Laban. I'm all in the hands of God, and if it wasn't for God, you, I don't know if I can say it, but I'm going to say it. Forgive me. If, you would have screwed me. I don't know if that's wrong to say, but that's an old expression. He's telling Laban, you would have screwed me. And if that's wrong to say, I apologize. But by the mercy of God, by the mercy of God. Come on, Christian. You know that employer that you work for? Again, forgive me if I'm wrong. He would screw you. You know your landlord would screw you if he could? He, he would say, all right, give me your $800 rent and move out of my house and give me $800 next month. This American capitalistic system. If they could get you to work without paying you, they'd do it. Listen, I've sat in America in 2021. And I have gone into a convenience store to get a bottle of pop and a bag of chips. And I have seen one cashier work. Three registers. I have seen one cashier do someone's gas. I have seen the same cashier work the second register doing my daughter and my soda and, and, and bags of chips. And I've seen her work the third register getting lottery tickets and cigarettes at once. Don't you tell me. I've worked in the grocery store since I was 16 years old. I have been stalker. I have been bathroom cleaner. I have been mopped the floor. I have been picked up the broken items. I have been go to the trash compactor. I have many badges to wear, but I get one check. That's Jacob. And Jacob says, set for the God of my father, the God of Abraham, the God, God's protecting me. God's taking care of me. And if it wasn't for God, and again, if it's wrong, forgive me, man would screw me. But God. All right, I'm going to close this with a verse that, that Jacob didn't have. We do. This is a day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Because if it was no God, we wouldn't be here. And if it was no God, man would just. Look what we learned from Jacob. Jacob. And the work ethic. 